This is no regular vinyl happy hour. Let me tell you, record store day is next Saturday, April 23rd. And I'm gonna try to give you some of my honorable mentions and my top five picks, which is much different from our usual vinyl happy hour where I talk about the top five releases for the week usually. Uh, but I am also gonna mention a couple of personal finds that I've gotten here lately in uh, our used collection that's going out. So let's jump right into it. I'm not gonna dive really deep into a lot of these records because they're fresh just coming in. There's like, I think 300 releases dropping. So I'm just gonna skim a few of these and encourage you to go and check out the list and find out a little bit more about what's coming out at your local record store. Or if you're here in the Rockford, Illinois area, you can come and see me, Skylar Davis, at Culture Shock Clothing and Records. And you can also find these records on our website at cultureshockshop.com. However, unlike our regular releases and regular new vinyl that come out, we cannot sell uh, the record store day releases until the full day after. So that is Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday, April 24th whatever is still available will be on our website if you can't make it in or don't live here and still want to pick up some of these releases. Obviously some are quite limited and might be sold out. Uh, a lot of you, I mean, there's been a lot of you getting into vinyl still in the last year or two and since pandemic. So if you aren't familiar with Record Store Day, this is a huge event that happens usually once a year in April and again on Black Friday. And this group works together with a bunch of different record labels and artists to put out special limited releases that you can only get at independent record stores. So it's a lot of fun, it's super cool, and you'll see there's a huge variety. I'm extremely geeked about a lot of these releases. Even for me, being the owner of the store, it's gonna be very hard for me to pick and choose what I want to actually purchase for myself. I can't get everything, but I will show a few. So let's jump into some of my honorable mentions. Let's first talk about how special some of the packaging is and things like that. Uh, for example, there's like some newer releases. Uh, let's show off the Casey Musgraves Star Cross. They're actually doing a picture disc of this. Uh, and I actually had a chance, this is open and stuff, to listen to it, check it out. Sounds great, such a great album. I really appreciate it. There's definitely less country tinge on it, a little more pop. But the strings are so light, the vocal is so sweet, but there's a lot of really great, like kind of more electronic low bass frequencies mixed in. Uh, so it's great sounding. I know there's a lot of weirdness about picture discs in the world. And some people don't like them or think they're bad quality. And of course in the eighties or so, there was some really bad quality picture discs that came out. So I think that connotation is still out. And luckily a lot of these are really quality checked and the quality has really come up on a lot of vinyl over the years as it's become a bigger and bigger deal. Um, I'm gonna talk, let's get this box out of the way. So this is super cool. There is a Ramones box set. This is the Sire albums from 1981 to 89. So you will see that you get Brain Drain. What do we got here? Yeah. There's a like six. Yeah, there's six studio albums. Yeah. So you got their six studio albums that came out. These are all limited and numbered also. Oh, yeah. So you got Subterranean Jungle. So a lot of these are going to be like their 80s stuff, of course, the full 80s collection. Uh, and these are each numbered. So each box, there's 14,000, has a number. This is number 11,500. But what's really special about it is you get this. So those are all black vinyl. That's their six studio albums, but you get the Ramones, still more stuff, rarities from 81 to 89. These were some demos, some EPs, things that were on EPs and singles and imports. And it is on this cool splattery color vinyl. Uh, and there's some songs on here. I mean, I'm a pretty big Ramones collector, aficionado. So there's some stuff on here I had never heard before. So that's really cool that it comes with the extras, plus you get the handy dandy nice box set to keep all the albums in. This comes in there with it. I just pulled it out so you can get a better look at it. Uh, let's go, I'm gonna kind of build up to like my, my top five and actually not every single release is even in yet. We're lucky enough to have gotten some of them in early so we can start prepping and getting ready for the store because we need some time. With this big of a list, it's huge. So also in the link below, I'm gonna put a link to our website uh, just look for the Record Store Day 2022 releases, and uh, yeah, there's a link. But anyway, that will give you a little more detail on each of the releases coming out, not just the ones I'm showing here, but the entire list. Uh, what I suggest is doing your research. That's kind of another reason I kind of picked like my top five, because there are so many people looking for so many releases, and obviously even the stuff that they made, you know, five or 10 or 15,000 of, we might only have a few available. There's so many stores who are partaking in this. So we're doing it a limit of five releases. Uh, once you make it through the line, it'll move very quick. You can buy one of each release. Uh, and then if you want more than five, run through the line again. We just wanna make it fair so everybody has a chance to get through and get some stuff. 
Uh, I'm gonna just do a brief story on a couple. This is really fun, this is really strange. Jazz Sabbath Volume 2. And I don't know if it says, it says limited mono edition, translucent, uh, it says bonus disc. So there is a, a supposed documentary. I don't know if that's the documentary or a live music video. I haven't had a chance to watch it, but it does come with a DVD. Uh, but Jan Sabbath has a really fun story. This release is all, it's Black Sabbath songs, but done in a jazz, you know, it's a jazz pianist working together. But there's a really freaking weird backstory about how in 1969 or 70, uh, he had made this album and had a heart attack, was in the hospital, and when he got out, the record manager had burned down the warehouse with all the copies of the record to collect insurance money. And then this other band popped up called Black Sabbath and was doing uh, what he called like uh, crude metal versions of his songs, of his jazz songs that would turn into crude metal or something like that. Uh, obviously the guy's not even that old, so it's just a totally whack story. It's just kind of funny to go along with uh, his album. but. He, or they had done one release before, and this is volume two, uh, but this has a story about how he moved from the UK and ended up in New Orleans, and this has a little bit more of a New Orleans-y mixture to a jazz song, but we've got Paranoid, Snowblind, uh, Black Sabbath, and Symptom of the Universe. So these are done in straight up, like, truly jazz instrumental versions of Black Sabbath songs. But the backstory is that Black Sabbath stole these songs from them. So it's just a fun, wild story. And it's just one of those things I love that come out as a record store day release. Something with a really cool story. Uh, cool packaging, special release, some extras and things like that. Uh, these are all just kind of like some honorable mentions. I'm just going to kind of briefly go over them. Uh, Dillinger Escape Plan. This is limited edition on gold ripple color vinyl. Just a really great mathematical hardcore band. A very... Brutal Tunes, that was like their final album. So a lot of things are gonna be reissues or special versions of things that have either never been out or maybe have never been on vinyl. This next one, uh, Corinne Bailey Ray, this is The C. I forgot what year this was. So I'm gonna say 2012 or something like that. Not 2010. This had been out before, but it's extremely rare. Uh, on vinyl especially, hard to find. She is just a, a beautiful singer, a beautiful uh, musician. Just a lot of really cool, kind of more of that funky R&B and just great singing and kind of jazzy in a way. But it's extremely rare or expensive. It did come out on vinyl. I've only seen it, you know, many, many, many years ago. So glad they're finally reissuing that. And this is another great Record Store Day release. My only quip is that it's just coming out on limited edition blue vinyl. I mean, the name of the album is The C. They should have called it, you know, C Blue Vinyl, right? You'll see that some of these things have fun random names. So. What's next here? Oh yeah, Future, there's some uh, some more good modern hip hop and stuff like that. This came out in 2015 on Teal Vinyl. So there's a mixture of rock, jazz, you know, hip hop, just new stuff, old stuff, like the Ramones box set. There's not a lot of box sets. There's a Grateful Dead box set, the Doors LA Woman Sessions box set. Uh, there's a lot of LP, some seven inch and stuff, which I actually forgot to bring some seven inch records here too, but there's a couple of good ones in there, but. Oh, Alice in Chains' We Die Young EP, one of my favorite bands of all time. I mean, I feel like the Record Store Day people and the list just gets me because there's so many releases. Like, you know, the list comes out every year and you're like, oh, yeah, there's some stuff I might like or whatever. But then you start listening to it or seeing it and thinking about your collection and you're like, damn, I need that. I mean, that's that's some great stuff. So, moving along, though, a couple more honorable mentions. Here's another cool one. I'd probably mispronounced them in the past. This is Wise Blood. Uh, I, I think I've called them Way is Blood or Why is Blood. It's W-E-Y-E-S. Very cool lettering. Um, but she is a great singer. This is kind of more on the weird folky side of things like that. Her last couple albums have more of that, I don't know, somewhere between Phoebe Bridgers and Julian Baker sound. Just a really great, sweet sound. But this is an album before I'd gotten into them. And this is uh, also on color vinyl. This is... Uh, nuclear pond color vinyl there's only 4,000 copies so like i said they're playing you know it's probably going to be this color i'm thinking i don't have this one open but uh that's one to check out this is wise blood the innocence uh we got a few of those a lot of these we're only getting like i mean Alice in chains we have like i don't know 20 or 25 wise blood i think only like five or six so it's kind of funny you never know quite how it's going to work out because you order a lot try to get some and you may or may not I actually couldn't find, I have an original pressing of this. I wanted to get it, kind of compare and show it off. Of course, I couldn't find it. We're under a lot of work getting things ready for record store day. But this is Art Pepper Meets the Rhythm section. Um, this was, uh, was this on Clef Records, I think? 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it was a clef for contemporary contemporary jazz records in 1957. Super cool jazz album. Uh, you got Paul Chambers and Red Garland, just a lot of other classic jazz musicians playing along. Chambers on bass, Garland on piano. Uh, anyway, Art Pepper, just another great alt alto sax player, great piece of jazz. But what I especially love, and I trust Record Store Day, and I trust a lot of the labels, what they're putting out, Kraft Recordings has done a couple other jazz and even some rock releases, but this is nice thick vinyl. It's a mono recording, not a stereo recording. So it's not that improvised stereo. This is true to the original mono direct jazz layout from an analog source. So this is a fully analog jazz piece. Super cool slab of wax. Just another really great jazz album to pick up. Uh, let's see, here's some fun ones. Zarface, uh, Zarmageddon. This is cool, just some more kind of uh, fun comic kind of related hip hop just some very cool alternative and underground hip hop uh what's really cool about this it's just on black vinyl but it comes with eight trading cards series one of the czar face universe so you get a pack of trading cards with it that's just a lot of fun czar face is a, a cool one to check out it's obviously collaborated with a lot of other hip hop artists over the years including mf doom and stuff like that uh, i'm trying to get to my top five here Oh, what? Oh, this is another good one. So this I know nothing about what uh, Nowhere In is, but I love St. Vincent and she's just done some great music. The jacket's really cool, very foily, kind of a foil print instead of a flat print. And there's no info. So if you didn't go and check on the list or read up about it, uh, this is her like soundtrack or music compilation. She produced this thing for, I'm just gonna make this up. I feel like I heard it was a Hulu show or something. I actually don't know anything about the show or whatever, but look, it's on this like cool poppin' yellow vinyl too. And I forgot, I think I read about that. Uh, but she does several original songs and there's kind of some segues and other music that went along with the show. I love the album and I love the music and the ambient feel of some of the in-between stuff without even knowing the show, just as an album. I got to check this out. I'm a big St. Vincent fan. I've got pretty much every album she's done, including the one she did with David Byrne. Just a great guitarist, cool vocalist. So. Uh, Annie Clark is her name and she goes by St. Vincent. So that's the nowhere in. Just want to show that off and show off that, hey, it's on color vinyl, even though there's no hype sticker or really outside promotion about that. Um, what do we have next? Oh, I mean, this takes me back. It's got to be 90s, right? 98. Uh, the Everlast one, Whitey Ford sings the blues. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't know if this has ever been on vinyl. I've certainly never seen it on vinyl. So I love to see that you know, being an elder millennial or whatever you want to say that I am, we're seeing some stuff that's kind of more from my high school era, junior high era, all that stuff of some music that I grew up on that I heard, but I've never had or owned on vinyl. And now that it's the main way I listen to my music and stuff like that, it's cool to see some of this stuff, you know, uh, the ends of what it's like. Uh, of course, it's got a lot of, a lot of big radio songs on it. And a lot of people, if you didn't know, Everlast actually came from the kind of Boston or whatever they were, the hip hop group or whatever, House of Pain. Uh, and DJ Lethal went on to do uh, all the stuff with Limp Biscuit. And uh, Everlast was uh, uh, his other creation from the other guy in House of Pain here. And uh, oh man, so it's just cool to hear how much hip hop actually influences on this album. Everybody hears that that song, you know, with the blues, you know, but it's, a, it's actually a pretty good album. And you know, it's one of those ones where I wouldn't have made much of a claim to it over the years of listening to metal and being too uh, too musically diverse and interesting, but it just hits that right amount of nostalgia and has really good production, actually. Uh, it's not a bad album, so it's cool to see that stuff. Oh God, what else do we have here? Okay, this is cool. The reason I wanna talk about Earl of Hell, um, Get Smoked, this is actually, we're calling this a Record Store Day release even though it's not on the official Record Store Day list. This is a local record label here from Rockford, Illinois. Uh, our friend Ryan Foster has a thing called Slightly Fuzz, and he's putting out this release this month and allowed us to have some copies. It's a very limited run of either just a hundred or a few hundred. Uh, and this is a Scottish, like we'll call them like scuzzy rockers. It's very gritty, garage rocky, kind of stoner rocky, classic hard rock mix. Uh, this band actually uh, has been working with him on the label Slightly Fuzz to put out some stuff on vinyl. And I can't remember if they've had something on a vinyl or not yet. They've got a couple other albums I know, but this may be their first release on vinyl. But at any rate, it's the one of the first ones to come out from Slightly Fuzzed and we're happy to have a local release here. Uh, even though it's a Scottish band it's through a Rockford label, Slightly Fuzzed. 
So, and he's also done a lot of the artwork and stuff like that with the label. Of course, you can check out their website. I'll try to put the link to their site in there too, so you can see some of the other stuff they're working on. Uh, but this album, it's just a good rocking album. So it's cool that it has a local connection. Oh um, gosh, I can I show a couple personal things really quick. This is just, this isn't me just bragging or showing off my goodies, but it should give you hope because there's some Holy Grail pieces I've picked up in this used collection that we're working on putting out because besides all the record story releases, we're also putting out CDs, DVDs, cassettes, vintage t-shirts, uh, and some nice used records. But we're putting out some nice jazz stuff, but I just wanted to show off the John Coltrane, uh, the Coltrane album, Prestige. Wow, Prestige number 7105. This was an album I've been looking for forever. And now to our customer's advantage, although I got first dibs and I actually bought this one for myself, I have it now. So that means that the next time we get a jazz collection or some good rare records, that one's gonna go to the store. But there's a lot of jazz records we're gonna actually be putting out too, and a lot of just rock. There's a, a sealed Pink Floyd and Magoma, some sealed Rush. Uh, this is an Art Farmer piece on Mercury Records. Uh, I just wanna point out, there's so many labels out there besides obviously Blue Note Records and like some of the other stuff we talk about a lot, Verve Records. Here's an original old Columbia of Dave Brubeck. So I just wanna show off kind of some, some cool records we got in our used collection. Those won't be on the website, but they will be in store. Just kind of leading in, building some hype for all the other stuff coming. Let's talk about my top five picks, at least for right now. This is very subject to change, but Record Store Day just gets me going and gets me geeked because there's so many releases dropping at once. It's hard to stop and pick. Uh, here's another one, kind of going back to my childhood or youthful times, Kitty spit i remember thinking this was so brutal and so heavy when it came out and it actually is it is very heavy this kind of led me from right from hole into to slipknot and sepultura and everything else all sorts of other metal um but these girls rock these were so heavy and obviously this is the first time it's been on vinyl so it's really cool to see something like this coming out on vinyl on red vinyl also um just a cool piece you know really brings me back to those Ozfest years and some of that stuff so i'm meeting that i got to see them once so that was a cool release. I was like, hey, never been on vinyl. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh, Voivod, Angel Rat. This is a 90, 1991 piece. 91 is also a hard year to get into vinyl because a lot of it was CD and cassette then. But I have, geez, almost every album from Voivod. This is just another kind of a thrash metal, prog metal band. But I thought it was kind of funny. The album artwork is probably very dark and hard to see. It was probably originally made for digital things in mind so it's actually not great to see on vinyl but it's it's deep purple vinyl with lime monster green swirl vinyl six thousand copies in truthfulness though i mean it is just dark i mean you might not even see anything on the camera there is this is so dark purple i mean it's almost black and there's just the little tiny flecks and splatters of green in there so it's a very elaborate description but hard to see the color vinyl but I don't care. I'm just happy. You know, some of this, it's great to see the packaging and the special goodness and what have you. I'm just happy to have the album because this was like the album I needed from this metal band. So super happy about that. Uh, let's see, got something else for you. Handsome Boy Modeling School. Gosh, here's another one. Nathaniel Merriweather, uh, Dan the Mary, Dan the Automator, and Chess Rockwall, uh, Prince Paul. This is just a great, again, must be going back to around 2099 on Tommy Music. This did come out on vinyl, I know. I've never had a copy though. It's extremely hard to get. Nothing highly impressive for packaging double LP, but damn, it's a great album. Really cool. Uh, of course, Danny Automator, that's like Gorillaz, uh, you know, collaborator and vocalist and all that stuff. So it's kind of another weird, kind of fun, alternative hip hop piece. Super rare, hard to find on vinyl. Thankfully, it's finally coming out for Record Store Day. It's just all over the place. Um, what are we at now? Let's say this is number three. Oh yeah, I wanted to open this with you. I haven't opened this yet. Childish Gambino, uh, uh, Kawi? 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 Gosh, I forgot how to say the name of the album, but it's the first time on vinyl, and I think it's from 2016 or so, 2014, was when it originally came out, but it had never been on vinyl. I think every other album has, that he's done has been on vinyl. Uh, and this is kind of fun because it's one of three various colors. I don't even know what colors. 
I'm going to guess it's blue, yellow, or orange, kind of like the artwork on the jacket. So let's open it and see. I feel like I'm opening a lottery ticket. Oh, let's see if there's anything else inside. But Childish Gambino really went from really great hip hop to mix in a lot more funk and soul and things like that. We get an insert with the lyrics. Got a nice 30 in her sleeve. Let's see what color we got. It's one of three. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, so they might be doing variants where it's three different variants of dual color. Interesting. So I wonder if they're going to mix all three of these colors and make three combinations. So that's cool to see that they did a, like a half and half split vinyl. Very interesting. That was that was actually shocking. That's surprising. I'm happy. So I will definitely be picking, looking to pick up a copy of that. We have quite a few of these. If they don't sell out, which they very well might not, they'll be available on our website too. So if you're not local, want to pick them up the day after record store day, starting at 8 a.m., you can get them at cultureshockshop.com. I still have one more to go, but Anyway, this is kind of like right as he started to take off more onto that kind of funky soul kind of mixture. It's still a hip hop piece. Just a great album. I have everything else he's done. He's supposedly getting out of the music game and may or may not even release another album. So if we end up with many albums from him, I'm happy to have found another one. So, okay, let's talk about this one. Kind of sad, but also really nice. Remembering Dolores, the Cranberries. This is a kind of a band picked, uh, fran friends and fan friends. Friends and family actually helped pick and uh, put this compilation together, and it's got music from the entire Cranberries career and all their albums. Really nice gatefold, great pictures of them uh, from the 90s doing what looks like the Faithful Departed photo shoot. Uh, the other interesting thing is it's a compilation of songs from all of their albums, uh, but even more special, it's got um, photography by their photographist, Andy Earl, and this is the black and white photo. This is supposedly the first photo that he took of the band in 93 uh, when they were doing the photo sessions for their first album. And this was the last photo he took of Dolores uh, in Mexico on their 2017 tour. So each of the inner sleeves has, you know, a nice thick inner sleeve and has artwork from uh, their photographer taking pictures of her. Um, honestly, a couple of the later albums I'm not as interested in. So it's really cool to hear some of the stuff um, from Wake Up and Smell the Coffee especially, and the album Roses. I actually don't have those. Plus, To the Faithful Departed, very hard to find. There's several tracks on here from that album. And of course, everyone else is doing it, something else. So there's a lot of, a lot of things on here. Uh, it's also got I'm Still Remembering, another one of my favorite songs from To the Faithful Departed. So it's a two record compilation of hand-picked songs from their career and stuff that uh, lets people remember Dolores and stuff, who passed away just a few years ago, sadly. Uh, Cranberry is one of my favorite bands of all time, too. Um, just just cool, kind of a cool concept pieces like that. I know there's the Patti Smith piece where Record Story picks some stuff to put together some compilations. Uh, just a huge variety of vinyl. So I encourage you to take a look through the list, uh, especially if you got some time now and it's over a week away to kind of pick out some of the stuff you're gonna wanna pick up from Record Store Day. Uh, even if you're not here, go out and support your local record stores, or if you wanna support Culture Shock and what we're doing, please of course, subscribe to the channel. Always forget to ask for that if you're watching this and like it, drop a comment. I'd love to hear what your top five picks are or even your top three if you want to narrow it down even more. I'd love to hear what you're looking for for Record Store Day. Uh, if you've got questions and comments too that you want us to get back to you on, uh, go find us and let us know on the Culture Shock Instagram page, Culture Shock with a little underscore, or Culture Shock Clothing and Records on Facebook. Uh, again, we'll have these available at cultureshockshop.com. There are still new releases for the week, just with so much other stuff going on Record Store Day, we might do a little catch up video to talk about that. But our regular Friday new releases are still going on, getting prepped to hit the store. You can check the staff pick section below too to find out some of uh, previous weeks and this week's regular new releases. We'll have a separate link for the record store day releases though too to keep that happy. So uh, I'm gonna keep drinking some coffee and get to work on some stuff. I'm gonna listen to some records while I get some work done. I hope you have a great time and we'll see you for record store day hopefully. Cheers.